1009 Sports, brought to you by Golden Triangle Emergency Center, Orange. Tonight, 12 News is celebrating a big win for the Silsby boy basketball team. The Tigers beat Canyon Randall in the Alamo Dome today, and now they're heading to the state championship tomorrow. Our 409 sports team joins us live from San Antonio and guys, the game was a nail biter, but the Tigers punched their ticket to the championship. I tell you what, Brenda, it was a wild experience out here. I'm here with the guy Holton Pepper right here, and this game was back and forth early, but yeah, Silsby did get the W, and they're moving on to the state championship. Just an outstanding performance, really, on both sides of the basketball. I mean, we saw a fantastic game, and at first we, we thought that Silsby might be pulling away, being that they had that nine-point run there for a minute, and then on the flip side, the opposing team, Randall, jumped right back in it with their own nine-point game, made it a one-point game going into halftime. So there was a lot of points for them going into this one. Right, and it was great watching Silsby play. I'll tell you what, Jared Harris played incredible early on. Uh, I think he finished with 21 points. But LaMarcus Botley Jr. actually finished with 23. He led both teams in scoring. But Silsby just looked like they were on a different level. I liked how they ran. They ran this whole game, and they just looked like they were in better shape. And when it got to the end of the game, the other team, Randall, the Raiders, looked a little bit winded. The Silsby was running all up and down the court. So hopefully they'll be able to take that into the next round, the championship game. What else I hope that they take into the championship round as well, Roddy, is the fact that they almost shot 45% from the field for the entire game, mm -hmm. which I don't know if you know that or not, but that means that they're pretty much almost hitting almost exactly half of their shots. If they mm -hmm. take that into the next game, that's going to be impossible to stop. That is almost exactly what you want if you're the head coach. Right, right, and it was great to see them do all of that. And, you know, we talked to the coaches, we heard from the players. We're gonna have all of that later on coming up in the show. And of course, the next game, Beaumont United, they're gonna play for their chance to go for a championship. So we'll have that a little bit later, Brenda. All right, we're wishing both of those teams the best and you guys enjoy out there in San Antonio.